In this episode, I give you the important characteristics of arid zone ecology. So this area you see on my back side, this is called as arid soils. Arid soils are the arid areas are those areas where there is a harsh climate, where there is a evaporation rate is higher than the precipitation, where there is a low rate of rainfall. According to some experts, the definitions of arid zone is that those areas which have the rate of rainfall is less than 200 mm are commonly known as arid parts are commonly called as a barani area so here you see there is a direct sunlight there's a solar and heat and the soil is a very dried soil you see the soil is sandy and sometimes it is a mixture of a dried and sandy soil so this area is also important region with respect to the biodiversity due to the low rate of rainfall there is not a rich biodiversity but the biodiversity of the plant exists and there are number of the birds that are associated with this unique characteristics biodiversity here you see this soil is a very uh, dried soil there is a lesser moisture contents and a water contents in this soil so this soil supports uh, those plants which are very characteristic plant here you see the dried aerial parts of Carthamus oxycantha it is called as a wild safe star it is a uh, one of the characteristic plant that is found in arid zone ecology this plant belongs to family compostry the seeds of this plants are sometimes edible while the seeds of this plants are used for the extraction of the oil Another plant of arid zone areas is the Sacrum spontanum. This plant is basically known as a small kai. That is a Sacrum spontanum which belongs to family compostry. This plant has the ability to hold the soil. So this is a one of the plant that is used in an arid zone to hold the soil. It is a plant species that is for conservation of the soil. This is a scrub vegetation that is a shrubby plant uh, that is Zizifas nimularia, which is also a characteristic plant of the arid parts. Here you see the holes that are in a soil. Arid soil, these are the holes in a soil. These holes are the homes of uh, the desert uh, lizard, that is Euromystic hard wiki. Here you see the panoramic view of arid areas, the scrub type of vegetation, characteristic future of the soil and the vegetation that is dominated in the arid parts. Here you see the plants that are on the slopy soil is the Tamarix dioca that is commonly known as the frost tree. Here you see the Delbergia sisu, the Zizifas nimularia and number of the other plants that are found in this area. This is another important plant that is found in the arid parts that is Heliotropium uh, europium. This plant belongs to family Boraginaceae. Here you see the whitish flowers, the leaves are hairs, where the characteristic leaves contain small puffy hairs. Here you see this is another important plant that is found in the arid zone side. This is another species that is found in arid zones that is Artemisia scoparia which is commonly known as a small wormwood plant that belongs to family compostry. This plant has the characteristics to adopt in the arid soils and this species is medicinally important that is used for the scorpion bites and is also used for the liver tonic. This is another plant that is known as a Xanthium sumerium. It is also a plant that is found in an arid soil. This plant also belongs to family compostry. This plant has the rough uh, adaptations to the arid zone soil. It is also found in a harsh condition. The leaves, the aerial parts have a very pungent smell. The seeds of this plant are used to extract the oil that is used for the biodiesel production.
Here you see the soil is the arid zone soil which contains a very lesser amount of the moisture. This is one of the unique plant that is found in arid zone areas. That is Calotropis procera, commonly called as a milkweed which belongs to family Ascribidaceae. This plant has a unique arid zone characteristics that the leaves are thick, succulent that conserve a lot of water during the lesser rate of rainfall during the season when there is no rainfall so this plant uh, characterized by the conservation and the storage of the water in a thicky leaves this plant contains the latex and this latex is medicinally very important that is used for the snake and scorpion bite this plant is a bitter in taste it's a poisonous but when the snake and scorpion bite this plant is the treatment for snake and scorpion bite This is another important plant of arid zone that is Tephrosia purpurea. This plant belongs to family Papilionaceae. This is one of the medicinally important plants and in India and Pakistan it is called as Therpuka. Therpuka is the plant that is used for digestive complaint. It is a rich source of proteins and it is also recommended for diabetic patients. Here you see this is our Dismostachia bipinnata. That is why we call it bipinnata because the spikes are arise in pairs. So it is a bipinnate spike. This belongs to family Poesi or Gramini. This is also one of the characteristics plant that is found in the arid zones where there is a lesser rate of rainfall, where there is lesser moisture in the soil. This plant, the inflorescence that is known as spike, is commonly used to make the brooms that neat and clean the houses. The brooms are used traditionally by the local communities of Pakistan, India for the cleanliness. This is a Parthenium Asterophorus which belongs to family Compositae and Asterophorus. This plant has a very multiple adaptations and it has a wider ecological amplitude and it is also found in arid parts of this region. This plant is commonly known as a weedy plant that invasive behavior and exotic behavior and this is a, a, a poisonous plant and it causes the fungal infection as well. Here you see another important species that is Crozophora hero solimitna. It is the species that is found in the characteristic soil of arid areas that is you, uh, the plant that belongs to family Euphorbiaceae. This plant is commonly grazed by the goats and sheep. Here you see the sheep and goats, they are grazing the arid weeds and the herbaceous plants that are important fodder for the goats and sheep. It is a Crozophora erosolimitna. Another important characteristic plant of arid areas is Tribulus terrestris. That is a puncture vine that belongs to family Zygophilaceae. The spines are uh, trilobes. That is a trilobe spine that is commonly known as a puncture vine. It is also found in the arid soil. This is the important medicinal plant. Uh, the roots of this plant are used for the renal calculi, that is used for the kidney stone. Arid zones, biodiversity when you are studying, then the sweating, then the heat, then the temperature is very high. In arid areas, there is a very extreme and excessive heat from the sunlight. And those plants which are found and adopted in harsh conditions have the unique characteristics that are adopted to the arid parts of the region. Here you see the field of Arachis hypogea, peanut or a groundnut. This is important plant that is found, that is cultivated in a arid soil. That is a peanut or a groundnut because it is the plant that belongs to family Leguminaceae or Fabaceae. So this is a nitrogen fixing natural plants. The roots of this plant, that is the peanut plant or a groundnut, contain the nardules and nardules are the homes of nitrogen fixing bacteria. So this is found in a arid soil that is commonly known as Mongpali in India and Pakistan. Pakistan, it is a ground night commonly used as a dry fruit. This is a shrubby plant, Acacia modesta, which belongs to family Mimosaceae. It is a spiny plant that is also found in arid parts.
This is also an important plant that is also found in the arid zone ecology that is Burhavia procumbens. It is the plant that is used for liver problems. That plant belongs to the family Nectogenesi. The pinkish flowers and the characteristic leaves are the future which belong to the family Nectogenesi. These small babies are the babies of shepherd mans who are grazing their goats and sheep in arid areas. So these babies are very tough because they uh, live in an arid zone. The arid zones where there is a heat, the arid zone where there is less water, the arid zone where there is a harsh condition. So these are strong babies, like the plants. This is another important plant that is found in an arid area that is Prasupas in area which is commonly known as miscite, a deep feeder plant in arid zone. This plant has the ability to deep roots which conserve a lot of water and take the water from the deeper side. Here you see another important plant that is found in the arid zone ecology that is Erva javanica. It is commonly known as a sphere pool. This plant belongs to the family Amaranthesi. This is the plant that is used for making the honeycomb. Here you see it's a shrub that is found in the arid zone that is the Prasupas juliflora or in English it is called as a wild miscite while in Urdu or Tib it is called as a joint. This plant is commonly used by the arid people for the uh, fuel wood consumption. This is a small shrub that is known as Razia stricta which belongs to family Aposinaceae. The taste of the leaves and the branches are bitter but the leaves are thick, they conserve the water in arid area. The branches of the Rajya Shrikta are commonly used as a toothbrush. They are used for the gum disorders and oral diseases. While the medicinally the leaves are the compounds that are used for treatment of cancer. That this plant is used as anti-cancer medicinal plant. This is another important plant that is found in the arid parts that is open shot in an eye. That belong to family cactaceae. These are the modified Phylloclades are the leaves or the stem is modified into leaf-like structure. This is called as phylloclades and this stores a lot of water, conserve water and nutrients uh, in arid parts. Medicinally, this is a very important plant. The sap that is uh, oozes from the leaves, oozes from the aerial parts is used for the skin disorder and it is commonly used in the cosmeceutical industry. While the fruits of this plant are known as Thor fruits, have a rich vitamin C and they are used as one of the nutrient-rich foods. 